Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, where for the moment, we don't have a main mission. Uh, so all of our missions are pretty far away, we are all the way in the corner of the galaxy, so of course they are. Um, I guess our play is just fly back to Nevada, like take this northern route, and I'm sure long before we arrive, we'll get a call that'll push us forward on the on the main mission. So uh, hey, just fly along with me for a second here. I bet I bet that call's coming sooner rather than later. So we want to go Utah, Hampton, Little Hope. I mean, we don't actually have a lot of choice in jump gates for a little while here. Autopilot disengaged by hostiles. I don't know exactly what Juno's plan is here. Or rather, I guess she doesn't need a plan, right? Her Juno's position right now is, hey, I don't want to be involved in any of this nonsense. But I don't know what everybody else's plan is, I guess, for getting Juno involved in the plot again. I'm sure Ruth or our mom or somebody will call up soon enough. Probably right about when I'm trying to fly through the jump gate, if the past is any indication. And we could stop and fight, but like, what's the point at this point? Autopilot disengaged by distress signal. Oh yeah, and every time I relaunch the game, it resets my uh, distress beacon settings. Destination reached. It would be cool if it didn't do that. I sure hope. I mean, it, it's possible that they are gonna move the plot uh, more central. Like, I, sh I sure hope they're not gonna make me come back out here every time. Any every time there's a new development that involves us talking to uh, talking to Tatiana. Wait, no, this is the wrong jump gate. I want to go to that jump gate. There we go. Destination reached. Wow, those guys did not stop me from moving at all. I also don't actually know what the uh, what the thing that binds plot progress is. I've been assuming it was just complete a mission and then allow some time to pass, but it could be the case that we need to complete a certain number of other missions. Like, you know, it might be that quest step 7 doesn't trigger until you've done at least 20 total jobs, or so it might be the case that we actually have to go do something before the plot will continue. We may have run out of our uh, stored up progress, potentially. Hold on. The Derringer system. Is this right? No. No, that's, it tries to route you around the dangerous routes, but we're we're totally cool to go to Little Hope. I thought that seemed wrong. Destination reached. The Manny face got me again a little bit there. It really is the gift that I gave to myself that keeps on giving. I don't know if anybody else is enjoying it as much as I am, but frankly, it doesn't matter. It's like get hit by a truck. Okay. Now we want to take the dangerous one. Both the jump gates that are shown up on the map are blue. You know, sometimes it doesn't, uh... There isn't even another blue jump gate. I don't know what's going on. Oh wait, do we have stuff in the cargo hold? Should I be dropping things off? Nope. Cargo hold is actually empty. Feels like that very rarely happens. Alright, the Vacaville jump gate is in fact this way. It is remarkable how often I have to end up steering around the jump gate that we came out of in order to get the get to the one we're headed to. I think this song is about the space devil. He's like the normal devil, but he has one of those like fishbowl astronaut helmets on. It's a good look. I mean, it's it's tough with the horns, I guess, but it, it looks good on him. Boy, that is a big star. I mean, stars are big. That's kind of the whole thing. But that thing is uh, very far away from us right now. Maybe it's not as far as I would like to think, because look at how much look at how much light distortion we're getting on the windshield here. Also, I guess kind of absurd to call it a windshield in space. You know, the fronty part. The, the <laughs> Space engineers use the technical term the fronty part. Wait a minute. This one's taking us to Mississippi. That one's taking me to Wyoming. Where the hell am I trying to go? I'm trying to go to Wyoming. Okay. Destination reached. It was nice there for a while when we just had the one main quest in the log. 
And so every every marker was the correct one. I, I didn't have to try to suss things out. Sadly, space crime is rarely that simple. I mean, our part of the space crime is pretty simple. I assume there's a lot of people doing, you know, thinky parts behind the scenes. Does feel like the galaxy's just kind of gotten empty, though, right? Everybody's become strangely chill. Let's go do a little bit of work, I guess, on the casino. So we could go and buy... The, the deal here is we could go buy a billiard table. Or we could steal a billiard table. Through violence. I'm pretty down with the second option. I haven't shot anything in like seven or eight minutes now. I'm starting to get a little twitchy. Autopilot disengaged by hostiles. Okay, but I don't want to shoot these guys. This isn't profitable. Actually, maybe this is exactly where I'm supposed to... No, no, no. The place I'm supposed to be is a great distance away. This is just some pirates shooting at some cops. And while I admire their initiative, I am very busy and can't really participate. Destination reached. Oh no, this is the node for buying one. Hold on, I want to do it the other way. Destination reached. You know, it's kind of screwed up though. It's probably the case that these billiard uh, these billiard tables were headed to New Vegas. So we're kind of stealing from Orzu here. Red Star beer. Oh well. I'll be concerned about it later. Miles business. Craft entering the area. I failed to press Damn, the button there. Cops. We ain't all Robin Hoods out here. Mostly just hoods. Does Whoa. Does it actually ever work for you? Go to hell, girl. Missile. All right. Those are those are a lot of cops. That's just like a huge number of police ships. You in connection with a prison break in the Montana system that resulted in multiple fatalities and the escape of a convicted felon. Ah, ah, shit. However, given circumstances I am not at liberty to discuss on an open channel, if you accompany us willingly, an option for clemency may be available. All right, all right. I'll come quietly. Yeah, they that convinced the me. Right move, Ms. Markev. If they had given me an option there, I would have chosen to go quietly, because that was a lot of police gun that was aimed at us there. Have a seat, Ms. Markev. So, let me guess. This has something to do with Tatiana Markev. Well, I'm glad to know that we can abbreviate this somewhat. Time is critical. All right, lay it on me. Our own independent investigation, in conjunction with information received from an independent entity... Xander Brust, you mean? I'm not at liberty to divulge that. As I was saying... In this cop is Richter, right? Information, look, it's look clear at him. that Tatiana Markev is responsible for the recent vicious attacks experienced throughout the sector. We're prepared to make you a one-time offer to erase your record in exchange for assistance in locating and eliminating this threat. An offer, you say? In my world, an offer is something you can turn down. That option is available is to you, Ms. Markev. But you won't be leaving this facility in that case. Right. So, go on. The terms are simple. You were to meet with Tatiana Markev, and upon doing so, you will send a coded message on the frequency we provide. Police enforcement will respond, and the threat will be neutralized. You know, I'm not on excellent terms with my mother, but you realize what you're asking me to do, right? I realize that we're providing you with an opportunity that you don't deserve. Well, so do I get to think about it? No, Ms. Markev. You do not. Then I guess you better send me those codes. We'll be watching, Ms. Markev. I'd advise you not to attempt a disappearance. Seemed a little bit silly, her being like, oh, in my world, an offer is something you can refuse. I am a space criminal. The phrase, an offer you can't refuse, comes from the kind of circles that we travel in. I don't know, maybe that, that makes a little bit more sense with your character, I guess, if you're mostly just being a, uh, what do you call it? A merchant. You're just really like, running stuff around the galaxy. Uh, I'm assuming the cops are not willing to sell me, oh, Fox Bat. This is a this is not a ship we've seen before. I, I, what I was about to say is, I'm assuming the cops will not be willing to sell me anything I haven't seen before, but apparently I am wrong. Five weapon hard points. Considerably faster and more maneuverable than our ship. Honestly, seems pretty good, and maybe we should... It has the, the shield rank and the power plant rank that we like. 
Maybe it would make more sense to switch to a fighter type vessel now that we're kind of done making money. But it also seems like a lot of hassle, and how would I get Manny's face on this thing? These cops have any, like, unusual guns or anything for sale? Also, why would they sell me anything? I guess... I guess it makes sense that they would sell me stuff, because they're, you know, telling me to go do a thing for them, but... In general, why are they selling people anything? I guess it's the capitalist future. Everybody's gotta be making money all the time. Otherwise, how are you going to deal with all your incredible bills? Alright, let's get back to trying to rob that guy. Where did they take me? Am I still in Nevada? No, they moved me to Montana. Okay. Well, how do we move that quest forward? I guess we have to wait for her to contact us. We could fly back to Backbone, but I don't really want to do that because it's very far away. And that's Colorado. There we go, Nevada. Let's let's get back to the thing we were doing. Alright, I know the police just gave me a very important mission. Obviously, I gotta steal something first. Just to sort of get myself back to karmically even. I actually really like... <laughs> I don't remember if I said this or not, but Ruth really strikes me as, like, somebody's D&D character. With, the, like, his thing where he tracks the number of good deeds he does and the number of bad, de bad deeds he does. But I don't mean that as pejorative as it sounds, probably. Like, I think it's actually kind of a cool gimmick that I might steal for a character of my own in the future, because there's very little chance that any of the people I play games with will have played this. So I, th I think I can get away with it. It's like, it's over dramatic and kind of cheesy, but in a way that really fits with the way I generally build characters. That is, if I ever get to play a game again. Juno. Have you thoroughly considered the situation? Uh... I mean, listen, we don't get along with Tatiana, but I cannot work for the police, right? And also, as much as I may not like my mother, letting the cops kill your mom feels... Yeah. I just had a long sit-down with the cops. They're gunning for you, and they want me to set you up. But that's not what's going to happen. Indeed. Well, dear, I must admit to some motherly warmth in seeing you come back to the fold. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You tell me where to head and make sure you're ready. It will be done. I look forward to seeing you again, Juno. You know, it strikes me that I didn't do any kind of, like, checking for police bugs or anything in the... in the ship before leaving. Seems like might have been a smart thing to do. Destination reached. Right. Oh, hey. All the stuff is still here. Some pirates have shown up to distract the police. I'm just going to hit this cargo container and get out, I guess. Come on, show me. You know, I didn't actually verify that this is the right ship. That's not the button I want. Uh, religious tracks, designer clothes, dry-aged yik-yak. There's your casino supply vessel. Hey, buddy. One chance. This was just not your lucky day. No way. I worked hard right. for this, and I'll fight for it. You worked hard for a ton of pool tables? A literal ton of pool tables? Well, I should probably reset our, uh... Our power, just in case. Right now, it seems like everybody's pretty distracted. Nobody's gonna notice what I'm doing over here, but that might change at any moment. Especially since I can hear my turrets shooting at other people. Man, this is a badass cargo ship. There we go, finally. Gotcha. 
Got it. Objective complete. You know, it says pool table singular, but it's taken up a whole space in the cargo hold. Is it really a one ton pool table? I'm going to get out of here and then we're going to figure out where we're supposed to go for the familial bonds. Man, she did want me to fly all the way back to Backbone. What a pain in the ass. Because that's like extremely the opposite direction of Bountiful Vista, right? I don't necessarily feel like we need to go do these missions. I, I guess let's skip delivering the pool table. Let's go to Backbone. So Wyoming, Tennessee, Vacaville. Are you... is this Wyoming? Did I jump to the right thing? Nope. Okay, but that's right. For some reason, it creates two markers for jump gates sometimes. It's like when you, um, when you have it set as your mission objective, the mission objective marker is not the same as the marker for the jump gate itself. Destination reached. Sort of. You kind of dropped me short here. I wonder if that means that there are enemies nearby. It sure does. Well, actually, there we go. I was going to say, I'm not even getting anything on the scanner. Let's make sure we have the right missiles equipped, just in case. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be that kind of problem. I'm feeling like a mite overpowered, just a tiny bit. Shit. At this point, I'm hardly even bothering to dodge the wrecked fuselage anymore. I know our ship can take the hit. Please tell me it's just two. Yeah, I think we're clear. Inbound. Nope, not sticking around to see what that is. I've already forgotten Tennessee? Tennessee is next, maybe? Yeah. Familial bonds, there we go. I have to take care of it manually because unfortunately the uh, the quest log might try to or the uh, quest log the quest markers might try to route us around the route we want to take. Okay, is this no? It's just right. As always, it's just showing me two markers for the same wrong jump gate. Slaughter Vacaville. There we go. Here's the thing. I don't want to be insulting to you guys. I'm sure you're very okay, acceptable at piracy. Uh, the thing is, my ammunition is largely free, and you're still not worth it. You found it. It does feel like we should have to refuel the thing that builds the bullets occasionally, doesn't it? Like, I don't know where it's getting the material. Because if it can just generate matter then isn't that... you'd think that would have an effect on, you know, the economy and stuff? Alright, and then from here, we're taking the red jump gate. Across to the appropriately named Little Hope. Let's put some more marks on the kill board. I mean, if we have to. Just say we're at the point where I am no longer excited to put more marks on the kill board. I that wasn't so think bad. that was... Yeah, okay, that was it. It was just one guy. Weird. Don't really see that all that often. If I'm one dude flying one of those little steel rat ships, like, hard to imagine the guy who sees my ship and thinks, yeah, I'll shoot at that. Why wouldn't I take that on by myself? At least when there's two of them, you can imagine they got into some, like, fully adieu stuff. But... I don't know. I guess lonely people are crazy too. 
someday this thing is just gonna shake itself apart. Especially if I never let it rest. Actually, we have to we have to occasionally stop to get jump fuel, don't we? Wait, no, that's the wrong way. We want to go. Yes, Utah. Uh, yeah, I might have to actually pull off here in a second. So our jump fuel meter is getting pretty low. I'm not actually sure how that whole system works. Because for the longest time, we were always stopping at stations every time we jumped. And I guess, I, I guess we've just stopped at them frequently enough that it's never been an issue until now. Alright, let's stop somewhere. Uh, what do we have access to here? Uh, okay, that's not great. All the stations here are Commonwealth, except for the police. And Caballeros does not refuel, it just restocks your bullets, right? Well, I guess let's just move on then, because it looks like we might be out of luck. Destination reached. But I think after this one we're going to be actually out of fuel. There's a station in Backbone, right? I'm actually not certain of that. We've spent so little time here that I don't remember. Yes, Independent Station. Cool. So we are 100% out of jump fuel. Destination reached. It's nice of every station in all of space to refuel everybody for free. I Jump fuel must be made of... I mean, I can't even imagine what, because there's prices on... There's like what seems like fairly high prices on like soy paste and I mean not high obviously relative to the cost of a spaceship or anything but an appreciable percentage of a spaceship man it is just empty out here out of curiosity yes you will take these religious tracts and look at that they just sell human transplants commonly exported to the Chinook refinery what a life I don't know, maybe it's just water. Maybe all you need to run a jump engine is water. I'm 10 to my next stop. Great, I'm so glad that you told me, total stranger. Alright, let's see what uh, Tatiana's brilliant plan is. Juno, dear, I'm so delighted to see you again. I have additional forces waiting in the wings. Broadcasting the location now. She's getting awfully chummy over the fact that she's only number two on my shit list. Coordinates received. Proceed to the meeting and maintain position, and we'll follow directly. What I'm saying is it feels it's like so a trap. It's wonderful to have you back. Once this is all over, we must sit down for a proper mother-daughter chat. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, so a lot of cops are gonna show up and then she's gonna super weapon them, maybe? Target locked. Jesus. Okay, maybe we should not be right here. Whatever it's on, we Try not to stay in one place for too long. Sorry, boys and girls. She is my mother. All forces, this is a setup. We've still got to try to destroy that ship. I hope you got insurance. Man, she only fires it when I'm not looking. I'm trying to help here. She's doing her best. Uh, this. This cop is doing his best to try to get me to crash into the capital ship, which is actually fairly smart. It will be met with deadly force. I feel like it's a thing you never see people do in like space dogfighting movies. It's like try to try to lead people into positions where they're shooting shots toward their own allies. You know, I don't think I've ever seen that like in a Star Wars. I guess maybe it's because the weapons on smaller ships wouldn't do enough damage to a larger ship for it to even matter if you're not getting through the shields or whatever. Man, I'm actually eating kind of a lot of damage here. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Listen, if you want to fire any more super weapons, I feel like you should, you should feel free to do that. I'm having a hell of a time killing this guy. He's eating two full swarms now. There we go, Jesus. 
Uh, that's why I took I took that missile in the front shields. It's a brilliant plan of mine to get shot in the face. If sometimes it's the best plan you have access to. Come on, shields, come on. This is pretty good, though. I, I really enjoy the spectacle of a big space battle. It's one of my first loves in media. You've made a serious mistake. Always fun to participate in, even if, like, really, like, functionally, I'm not doing any different here than I would under most circumstances where we're shooting stuff in space. Okay, these bigger ones, we're, we're not going to be stingy with the missiles on. Because I cannot afford to be chasing this thing for very long. i got to be maneuverable. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. i got to lay off the reactor for a second here. Mayday. Mayday. No, don't go, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Yeah, part of the problem is I'm draining the reactor by, by using the afterburner for evasion too much. It's just... Let the shields drink for a moment. Also, we took some serious damage there. You can see our top speed is not its usual cap. Alright. We do also have to keep fighting. Jesus. These dudes are fast. This is an act of aggression against the Dodge Sector Police. <laughs> Well, I agree with you. I think you have accurately assessed the situation. Ooh. I wonder if any of the other pirates in Tatiana's employ are as good as I am. Because if they are, we've probably killed about 500 police ships by now. Let's just have a quick look at the targeting map here. Well, what do things look like? A couple of cruisers left. Not a lot of fighters, though. I want this guy. There we go. All units, please assist. Four shield is still feeling strong. Uh, looked like there was one or two more small ships. Maybe let's try to clean these guys up because they're easy to do, and it's less dangerous for me than fighting the capital ships is. I think this guy's the last one. Okay, got him. All right, uh... Guess it's time to hit the bigger ships. Should be easy enough from here, although I really could use some repairs. Alright, looks like he's gonna completely ignore me, so I'm not gonna spend any missiles. He can shoot Tatiana's ships all, all he wants. So we took some pretty serious weapon system damage over the course of the fighting here, but uh, Repair Bot has been earning its key. I thought we were maybe high enough up to avoid touching that. No! Alright, these things are ridiculously tough. I mean, I guess they're called destroyers for a reason, right? Hold on a second, where'd this guy come from? the smart cop who's been hiding on the edge of the battlefield this whole time. See that he's trying to execute the baby giraffe wiggle. I can see it. He's just, he hasn't practiced well enough, and this is what happens. Step one, and it's it's a lot of people skip it, but it's important. Is you gotta you gotta get yourself in front of a mirror, and really just think of yourself as a baby giraffe. I know it's tough, it's, it's a little bit of a stretch for a lot of people, most people are not a baby giraffe, but 
really got to put yourself in that headspace. Otherwise, when you go to actually perform the maneuver, it's going to be all lackluster like that, and then you're going to get blown up by space pirates. You did not commit. It feels nice to be part of the outnumbering force rather than the outnumbered force for once. Although, there's definitely some concern of friendly fire. Friendly-ish. Oh, I'm gonna hit that cruiser if we're not careful. There we go, just try to take up a slightly different angle on the approach here. We're gonna go past and whip back around here. There we go. This is the angle I want to be approaching from. Try to finish off these turrets real quick so that they don't decide to shoot me. Yep, like that one kind of seems to be appearing to. Maybe I can slow down a little bit, I don't know. Two-dimensional debris just went straight through the cockpit. All units fall back. Cut your losses. Who? Who is all units at this point? Juno, I think the two of us should sit down together, don't you? Can't I suspect I don't have a choice. Exactly, but yeah. Where is her ship? Oh, okay. I don't have to figure it out. That's nice of them. Well, darling, have you come to your senses? You'll always be my daughter. It's inescapable. Yeah, listen, I didn't save you to save you. Just because I didn't betray you doesn't mean I want what you built, Mother. I want you out of my life permanently. I'm not you, and I'm sure not your protege. At least you called me mother. I don't want to speak to you again. I don't care about your empire. I don't care what you do. I just want you to know for good that I'll never be a part of it. I think you've made that clear, Juno. But I won't apologize. I've always done what I thought was best for you. I built this for you. And of all the mistakes I've made, I'll never consider this one of them. You've never apologized for anything. Goodbye, Tatiana. Goodbye, Juno. Yeah, we didn't pull her out of the jaws of the police to keep her from being eaten so much as to keep them from being fed. Jesus, okay. Right out into the space debris. Okay, so... Now what? I mean, I guess let's... Let's get moving toward Eureka and drop off this pool table, and then I guess we'll see if anything else comes up on the way. That's a hell of a path. Well, it's pretty straightforward for a while. On account of us being in the dead-ass corner of the galaxy. Oh, I should go to a station here. We'll, we'll jump through a couple of systems, but I do need to stop off for repairs somewhere. We took some damage that the repair drone is not able to get to. I mean, no, we can't stop anywhere here. Juno? Damn, it's good to hear from you. Don't get all excited. You and I should sit down sometime soon. We've got things to talk about. All right, Juno. Uh, all right. Just say where. How about back in Texas? Meet me on Lubbock. Really? You got it. How about the opposite corner of the universe from where I just was? How about that? Yeah, I don't have time for this nonsense. I'm very busy. I have an ex-husband to go murder. I'll say this, whoever's chasing us, they're keeping up. I guess our, our engine's not working at full speed. And maybe we'll have to stop and fight here? I don't know. I think, I think we're making distance. You can see the dots on the minimap shrinking in size and intensity. Yeah, good enough. Destination reached. I guess the drone is actually still repairing stuff. It really does take its sweet time. Inbound. 
Okay, is this a place where I could stop off? It is. Let's, uh, let's head over to Cordell and get our ship put back together before Manny's face goes sliding off into space and I follow shortly afterward. Docking request received. I could probably cut a significant portion of this voyage because I, I don't anticipate anything interesting is going to happen on the way back to, uh... On the way back to Bountiful Vista. So I guess I'll see you there in a moment. Alright, let's drop off this pool table and then maybe play just like one or two relaxing games of 8-Ball uh, before we go and deal with what I'm guessing might be the end of the story. Unless Brace has some kind of great heist plan for us. In which case I might consider taking him back. He doesn't seem like the planning type though. I can't imagine he has ever been the brains of any outfit. Alright, hey, good news. I got this pool table at an incredible discount. Right, Spanner. Have fun now. Oh, thank you dearly, Juno. I'll get it set up right away. Okay, how right away is right away? Can I play 8-Ball? Alright. We're gonna nail this. It's gonna be amazing. Hello there, friend. Care to wager on a game of eight ball? I need you to stop holding that pool cue in such a threatening manner, please. Yeah, why not? Wonderful. Check this out. This Have is where I'm going to show you that I've been hustling you guys the entire time. I definitely do remember the control. Yep, yep, there it is. I absolutely remember the controls. Who says I don't? Maximum pool. Aha, I pooled at the largest amount of force you can pool at, and unfortunately I set up a really easy shot here. Oh no wait, it's not unfortunate, because I know the rules of this game, and thus know that I am the one who goes next. Alright, solids. I don't know that I necessarily put us in a position where... Like, are there a lot of really shootable solids? I totally screwed up with that one. That one's right on the edge... Okay, maybe I donked it. It's possible. I'm not going to say I definitely didn't. Okay, we're going to precision. I'm going to try to just free up some of this stuff that's along the edge. Oh, that went in. Oh my god, I can be taught. Seriously, the blue and the brown are both right on the bumper. And man, I should have not shot that solid in just because it was easy. It was, oh, there's one easy shot. I, I'll assume the rest of them are also ready to go. All right, what about this? Let's try something like that. How about how about I don't hit the ball at all? Well, I mean, I hit some balls. Oh, man, I gave him a really easy shot. I actually gave him his choice of really easy shots. Okay, the good news is that that is less easy. Okay, not 100% ideal. I mean, this is shootable, for sure. That shouldn't be too, too hard either, but I think that's going to be fairly easy to hit from a lot of places on the table. This is probably a good opportunity to try to nail this. So... Man. Maybe I'm overestimating how easy this is going to be. Oh, I almost... I almost sunk it across the table. I was going to be so proud of myself. Maybe I shouldn't be proud of getting really lucky. But li I, listen, I gotta... I have to grasp at straws. Straws are all I have. Oh dear. He's turning it on. He remembered what game we're playing. For a second there, even I was believing that I might do well after that first shot. Oh, did he scratch? Okay, almost. Well, this doesn't look too bad. That yellow looks pretty shootable. I'd probably be more... It's, it would be more convincing that I have become good at pool if I knew the numbers of the balls based on their color. Like, at all. I don't know. This is maybe not as easy as I would like it to be. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Obviously the plan... Couldn't be anything else. Alright, this is a nice, easy, nice, easy one. All I have to do is not screw up this nice, easy shot here. 
Now we're in a bit of a position, though. This might be one of those times where I need to just, like, do something to free that ball. Because the, the 5 here is shootable from a variety of positions, not this one, unfortunately. And I would say the same is true of the purple there. So I think what we got to do right now is just try to make some contact over there. Yeah, something like that. Actually, that's not bad. It's rolled a little bit closer to the Come other on. side than I would like. But I haven't really left him too much either. Like, we put that red striped ball in a kind of an awkward spot. And this looks, this looks promising. Juno apparently doesn't think this shot's going to be all that easy, or she would have started with it. Which makes me feel like I maybe don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Where would I get that idea? Ah, close. Honestly, though, it didn't end up in too bad of a spot. If he actually hit that red stripe in like that, I was going to be furious. <laughs> this is not too bad to do here in video pool. Probably this, this shot would be a real pain in the ass on a physical table. Alright, so we're just going to touch it. Just like, I'm going to even give it a little bit more. Because I don't want to... Ah, that. I don't want to bounce it off of both of the corners and back out into the middle of the table is what I was about to say. I needed to hit it lighter. Okay, well he set himself up pretty well there. I think we should be able to do the five from this. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of shot that I routinely screw up. Okay, on the last one, it hit short. So... No, that doesn't really mean anything to me. Uh, there's a way that you can do this. So the, the game has spin control, right? And if I had any idea how, we could try to put a little bit of spin on the cue so that it like curves over to the orange ball and hits it in a more direct toward the hole angle, which would probably be better. I have no idea how to do that. That was really close to being good. That was so close to good. Wow, that was... Very convincing. It sure didn't look like that was an accident. <laughs> That's a nice easy one for him. I'm bummed out that I missed that. Okay, that's still pretty hard to shoot, and actually he has scratched. So that's pretty good news for me. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, that's... That's weird. That doesn't behave the way I would expect it to. Um, okay, sorry. I'm just struggling with the controls here 10,000 hours into the game. So I'm trying to... It's probably something like this, right? Am I allowed to... Can I move the ball... F am I allowed to put... Okay, I was going to say, I'm not allowed to put it just anywhere on the table. No, I can put it over here. This is probably the kind of spot that I want to shoot from. Another one of those shots that would be awkward on an actual physical table because of the uh, angling down, but that Juno can probably handle. There we go. Oh, all right. That's, That's maybe nice. something I can I can work with. Uh, no, maybe maybe overestimating my ability to get stuff done here. All right, I routinely make it go too far, so this actually is probably okay. Nope, can't do it on purpose. <laughs> Not when I want to, and then I scratch. Shoot, that's going to give him a real easy shot down the Jeez. side. Well, I probably just lost. Oh. Or he's... What on earth was that? What in the hell did he just do? <sighs> so we st we do still have to deal with this. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try... Like, we either have to hit it in or we have to just get it off the side. I'm going to try to just knock it like that. Ah. I, ba I banked it off the back too much. So it was coming out by the time it hit the hole. Okay, at least he actually made contact. I'm not going to pretend to be a pool expert. He, but he didn't make contact at all in the last one, right? Where I come from... That'd be a scratch. 
And I know that because I've been <laughs> rolled in pool once or twice. And uh, I'm not going to say which player was responsible for the part where the cue ball did not make contact with anything. I'll let you guys guess that. Oh, he's got this one. I mean, the, I finally put the purple in a space where I could score it. Oh! Okay, he's given us a chance. Juno, why? Why would that be the thing that I do right now? We gotta build up a little bit of momentum here. We gotta restore our confidence. I should have hit that harder, probably. I'm not thinking enough about where the cue ball is gonna end up. Alright, let's try something like this. I'm gonna have to hit it pretty hard, I think. Ah. Uh, well, hopefully he'll do this in a way that doesn't make it easy for him to sink the eight. Ah, uh, that doesn't look very hard to me. Hey, I played a competitive game at least. I mean, obviously, we got to one because that was the warm-up game. That game doesn't I'm count. Sure that wasn't the one a game. Momentary lapse of fortune. Hey, well, buddy. I guess that's the way it goes. Ain't no, ain't no luck involved in billiards. What do you it, say? It didn't even let me stay in the menu. Good it was like you should go is. now. No, 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 sure. no, no. That sounds perfect. That was the warm-up game. This is the game game. Watch, watch how I crush it this time. Okay, I did sink something on the break. Do you get to keep balls that sink on the break? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, did it did it put back over here? I don't actually know how many pool balls there are. I'm realizing. One, two, three, four, five. No, I think it stayed in, right? It, did, it didn't make me solids, but I think I, the solids stayed in, so we probably want to try to keep being solids. Especially since we have a nice easy one to sink there. Okay, this feels like maybe not the correct angle. Take your, take your advice into consideration there, Juno, but I maybe want to do something like this. I'm just trying to, like... Make some motion on that, because otherwise I'm never going to be able to hit my ball. Ah, uh, I almost, I almost did that in a way that looked like it could maybe have gone in in some universe. I'll take that. This guy is definitely worse than some of the other uh, players that we've played. Which I should not have noted out loud, because it makes it so much more embarrassing that I lost to him. This seems like a tough shot to me, like a, the one that would be really easy to screw up force-wise. Yep, I did it. I did that thing I was talking about. He's missing stuff that even I might hit. It's like the game is desperately trying to give me the wins so that I will move on. You know, if you can't win through, like, skill, annoying the opponent into letting you win is also an option. Ah, man, I will never, ever get that right, apparently. And I managed to stop two of my balls directly against the edge. Wonderful. That's a shame. I really wish his shot had not gone in there, because the cue ball ended up in a place where I could have done something with all of the stuff I've ruined. That snarl of balls at the bottom of the table is pretty bad for me because it's my ball in the middle. You gotta be pretty careful here. If I hit it in such a way that it banks off of the edge next to it, then it's just gonna come out. So I want to... I want to hit the edge with the cue ball, I think. Yeah, something like that. That was actually pretty close. Hit the edge with the cue ball and hit the other ball on the way back out. Just like a glancing, as tangential a touch as possible. I think the theory on that was pretty sound. I'm slowly working out how one plays pool. Thing is, there's so many balls over here that I feel like I should hit some of these. I'm going to try to... Ooh. I want to break up the, the snarl here, but I also don't want to push the eight ball into the corner... I, 
Probably this is fine. I'm going to readjust a little bit so that I'm less likely to hit the 8-ball. Did manage to scratch, though. And actually kind of made life really easy for my opponent at the same time. Okay, he didn't really do anything with it. Hmm. What's the... What's the... I'm an okay pool player shot here? Is it this? This at least moves this ball up the table some. I... I managed to sink the 8 on the rebound. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about... Here's a big problem with my game of 8-ball. I don't think about where the cue ball bo goes after I hit it. That was not... Okay, but that was not a real game, though, because the 8... That was bad luck. I know I said that thing earlier about there not being any luck, but, the... but that one... That one was luck. It's okay. We're going to get it this time. This is the last one. We're going to get it this time because this is the only game. All right. Uh... That's kind of what I was hoping he would do, because a lot of the stripes are in kind of crappy positions. Although, he is making me wonder if maybe I have assessed the table incorrectly. Alright, he's, <laughs> he's just going to run the table on us, huh? Okay. Well... We're playing from a small deficit. A tiny little deficit. I think I can do this. I think there's some chance I can do this. I'm probably hitting it too hard for the thing I want to do here. Wow, how did I manage to not do... How did I manage to miss that? Damn it. Okay, that was a truly bizarre shot. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. He feels bad for me. And on the one hand... I'm insulted, but on the other hand, he's right. I do need the help. That's the, <laughs> the thing is I do need the help. Okay, that was a little messy, but it went in. That's all that matters. Stop judging me. <laughs> okay, this should be a pretty straightforward one. You know, for a, like a good player. There's no way he sinks anything off of that, though, right? Except maybe the eight ball. He should feel it free, even encouraged, <laughs> to sink the 8-ball. Because <laughs> I don't know how else I'm going to win. Ah, uh, boy. This is very inconvenient. So, uh, I don't know if it's a thing you can do in this game. It is definitely a thing you can do in actual physical pool, that you can skip the ball. I'm not going to try to do that. Here's the thing. If I shoot like this, I'm not actually going to hit... I'm going to hit that ball, it's going to bounce off the wall immediately, and then it's going to travel forward and it's going to knock my purple ball out into an awkward spot, I think. So I don't really know what to do here. I don't want to free up any of his stuff. Maybe, maybe something like this is right for long-term strategic reasons, not just like not freeing up anything for him. And who knows, maybe I could do this in a way that would actually be useful. You know what, the purple ball's not in any worse of a spot than it was before. The yellow kind of is. Alright, let's see what he has now. That almost worked. He's like some kind of... some kind of secret pool genius. <laughs> what do you think the odds are? <laughs> that I can make this work. Oh my god. It did. Oh my god, it did. Maybe I'm some kind of secret pool playing genius. Here's the problem. My shots haven't been ambitious enough. I can't I can't handle this like low stakes nonsense pool. Hold on, let me let me turn back around. Is there is there a really wild shot I could try to make? Uh, not really. That's the problem. I can only perform under pressure. We figured it out, everybody. We got it. Damn it. That's what happens when I try to take, like, a normal-looking shot. Aw, oh, come on. I need to be playing with the cue behind my back, and, oh, is he gonna sink my ball? He totally is. Well, that was nice of him. You could tell I needed the morale boost after that thing that just happened. Okay, so we're gonna... 
We're going to aim it a little too low, and then I'm going to hit it pretty hard. And this is still not going to do the thing I needed to do. Okay, it got the, it got there. That was the messiest possible version yeah. of that that still goes in. But it got there. Alright. Try this thing again. Ah, almost. Please don't scratch. Stop. Please stop. I'm trying to use my aftertouch. I'm focusing as hard as I can. Okay. It worked. I gave myself a nosebleed, but it worked. He did not sink his ball. He did, he did sink mine and did not sink his. Okay, Juno, for once I think you've got the right of it. I think this is exactly the shot we want to be making. Boy, what do you think? Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I was going to screw that up somehow. Well, he's got a real easy pocket here. But then the ball afterward might not be as simple. He's pretty pretty along the wall still. Okay, it rolled back out of the mouth of the corner, so that's pretty good for us, I think. Good player could sink this. I, maybe, maybe we'll be able to. So it seems like when I hit it harder than I intend to hit it, it makes the ball go more in the direction of the cue ball's travel than I want it to, except when I am trying to do that on purpose to correct for it, in which case it makes it go far less in the direction of the cue ball's travel than I want it to. Mm, that's far enough out from the wall that I'm concerned about it. And I have no shot. Okay, this is where I use my new powers, my newfound powers. I'm just going to hit this into that in a way that totally works. Because this is the kind of shot that I can't help but land. Holy shit. Oh my god. But now we're doomed. Because now I don't, I don't have a wild shot to make anymore. Hold on, what do you think the odds are I can bank this? I know what you're saying. SB, that shot's crazy. My only concern here is that this shot might not be crazy enough. I'm <laughs> I completely missed. Damn it. Well, I'm counting that as a moral victory. Think of how cool that would have been if I'd actually gotten there. I might <laughs> go back and edit a victory in. Well, don't feel so bad. I am known for my skill at this game. I think that's all I've got. You know what the problem is? Satchel installed the table wrong. It's all the the legs all tilted and <sighs> that robot. What am I ever gonna do with him? Anyway. Yeah, it's a real problem when you get down to just the last ball, because they I can't make a shot that's stupid enough for me to be good at it. <laughs> when there's only one ball on the table. If he had had balls left, and I could have hit his balls into the eight ball in a wacky way, I bet I could have won that. Let's mix it up. Autopilot Let's not. Let's just sense. avoid mixing it up, shall we? It looks like people fighting each other anyway. We don't we don't need to get involved in this. As much as I do love a space explosion. I just got a bounty received because I think my turret one-shotted a guy. I do wish that there were um, there were more. There's a larger variety of turrets. In particular, I would love it if we could get some slow-firing, high-damage turrets because I'd really love to hear that like boom, boom, boom effect. The chain gun sounding turret is also fine, I guess. It's acceptable. Okay, Texas. Let's see where this leads us. Destination reached. Back where it all started? Is this the same the, the port that we started on? Oh right, the police. Uh, am I going to be allowed to just evade them into docking? Am I going to be allowed to dock here at all? Station hostile. Like, that's a problem. I didn't really think about that. Well, let's blow up a lot of police. I'm sure that'll make the station not hostile. Well, this just went from bad to worse. We're taking, like, real, very real damage here, so I'm gonna maybe step it up a little bit with the murder. 
Jesus. You've made a serious mistake, citizen. It feels like I've made a mistake or two. I'll say that. She's doing a pretty good job of leading me away from the cruiser so that my weakest the weakest part of my ship is facing it, which is strategically sound but isn't going to make her not die. So yeah, that's um, that's a real problem that the game ends on a Commonwealth port, or at least that there's a there's a necessary quest step very late in the game on a Commonwealth port. There's no way for us to dock, right? Isn't that what we determined? I don't know. I guess we'll hold on. We'll try again. But I think it was the case that we were just not allowed to enter Commonwealth ports under any circumstances. Like uh, the last time we tried it. Even after we killed all of the police that were around, um, we still weren't. The, the station was still hostile, and I didn't have a docking option, if I'm remembering correctly. Destination reached. Okay, let's try to deal with this quickly. Jesus Christ! Look at all the red on the scanner. All right, I'm gonna need a little bit of help here. A little bit of help here. I could use a little help. You in? Yes, Miss Market. I can do that. Assistance requested. All right, first one down. I wonder whether Ruth will consider this a gold ring or a silver ring kind of situation. Oh, I don't know. Maybe some shooting. It's a little bit of shooting. I'm on target. Crap. Distress signal detected. Like, I have time for this. Uh, come on, come on. I know my forward shields are down. Oh, you're done. Trying hard to maneuver while letting the engine rest a little bit, or letting the uh, reactor rest a little bit in between shots here. Okay, my javelin was badly damaged. That's not such a big deal. I don't think we're going to be using it much. Notice I'm not getting uh, tone at all. Were both of my missile systems damaged? Okay, that's a problem. We're going to try to get away from the big ship. Put some rocks between me and the big ship. My system's a little bit. It's time to regenerate. Alright, there's a guy for us to fight over here, away from everybody else. There's too many for me. Yes, one of me is definitely too many for you. Okay. Who is shooting missiles at me? How dare you? I'm still taking fire from somewhere else. That's not what I meant to do. Just trying to shoot missiles. Alright, got him. Yeah, feel free to use it there, buddy. This is not gonna go your way. If I can get rid of this guy, I think I'm in pretty good shape. There's one more, um, one more trooper on us. But I think those were the only two that followed us away from the cruiser. So after this, I think we'll get a second to let our shield regen. Whew, alright, breather. <clears throat> Actually, the hmm. thing says there's an enemy right on top of us, but I sure don't see one. Or an enemy right in that direction. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, alright. Getting some weird listing. I'm wondering if that's damage is responsible for that, maybe? Leave a few for me. Ooh. One of those down. Now. Missile inbound. Missile evaded. 
shit. I, uh, I saw what was happening there, and rather than steer away from it, I crouched in my chair like that was going to get me out of the way. You, know, you should feel free to go and have somebody else, because I this guy I got under control. I'm definitely still taking fire from other directions. Honestly, I think that repair drone has turned out to be really worthwhile. Because we're getting into more of these extended, actually difficult firefights. Where weapon systems are getting damaged. Missile inbound. Is it missile, missile inbound? Ugh, okay, hold on. Let me see something. I don't think there's any more cops, I think it's just freighters now. Am I allowed to use the port yet? Nope, station hostile. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be allowed to dock. I guess let's kill everything that's red on the scope. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you maybe shouldn't have shot at me there, buddy. But, like, it's not impossible for us to dock here in the long term, because we could change our rep. We, we, could, we could just go do anti-pirate stuff until the Commonwealth is cool with, cool with us again. But that can't be the way you're supposed to do this, right? Hey, free holidays. We're just going to kill everything that's red on the scope and see if we can cow the people at the station into compliance here. And I mean, while we're at it, we can get paid a little bit, I suppose. I think this is the last red ship. All right, Texas, I think based on what you just saw there, it might be in your best interest to allow me to uh, to dock. I mean, I'm, let's finish cleaning up the cargo, right? May as well. All right, did we get both? I think there were two there. Unfortunately, there's an awful lot of smoke. Yeah, okay, we got them both. We got everything, at least. It might it might only have been one that was just a real weird shape. Does it feel like the radio is judging me? I feel a little bit like the radio is judging me. Okay. Despite the fact that the station itself should still be hostile, we're allowed to dock now. All I had to do was kill every innocent person around. That was not my fault. The game forced my hand. Alright, let's see what kind of big apology Brace has cooked up, or if he is even smart enough to start that way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, before we talk to Brace, let's maybe repair the ship. Again, just in case the cops show up and we need to leave in a real hurry, which totally could happen. I'm just... I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Brace, that might be the smartest thing you've ever said. I'm not really sure I can forgive you for this. We've had our problems, but we trusted each other. This is just way beyond anything I ever expected. I know that. Keeping your mouth shut, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Nah, go ahead. <sighs> I wasn't happy. I didn't figure you were either. But I guess this... This isn't any better. No, not really. So what do we do now? What do you mean, maybe a way... He was so unhappy that he... No, that's insane. Obviously we're through. Even if, like, even if we get to a place where it's like, you know what, Brace? You destroyed my life. You dealt some serious emotional scars to me that I will take a long time to recover from. Even after that, if we're together again, it's just still it's still gonna be both of us unhappy, right? Like we don't we just don't work. I think we should call it done, Brace. We had a good run, but sometimes things don't last. If things were broken enough that we ended up here now, maybe we've told each other it's over. Maybe. Maybe not. He certainly told me. Chance you'll change your mind? I don't think so, Brace. I don't think so. Well, 
I'll see you around then, I guess. Yeah, see you around. Man, you better hope I don't see you around. I guess that means that was the ending. <laughs> they don't want to, like, roll credits at me. But that has to be the end of it, right? I mean, we're going to leave the bar. And I guess we could, like, fly around a little bit just to be sure. I'm reasonably sure. But, you know, games traditionally roll credits. We'll just see if there's any kind of, like, post-actual plot thing. That is a super weird thing to do, though, to, like... To do the thing that would ordinarily immediately precede the credits that will the, give you the title splash, and then just cut right back into the game instantly. That was the, maybe the latest title card I've ever seen. You can't speak. Throw that up on the giant bomb wiki. Let's just, um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fly to New Mexico. They just get more corrosive. And, um... That's not really going to take all that long. I don't know. We're going to fly to New Mexico. Autopilot disengaged by distress signal. Really? Did you really turn my distress signal thing back on? That setting doesn't stick for anything. Destination reached. And we're going to fly to New Mexico. We're going to get in the direction of that mission, and we're just going to see if anything else pops up. But I think we're done. I mean, we certainly closed Juno's loop here. Maybe not in an entirely satisfying way, on account of the fact that very little of the game was actually spent dealing with it, and we don't really have the systems necessary to deal with the fact that the primary conflict here was emotional trauma-based. Not really a problem you can solve from a turret on a spaceship. Except, I guess, by, <laughs> by shooting Brace with a turret from the spaceship. What is it we're doing here? We're meeting Satchel? I think... We'll take, we'll take Satchel's mission. We'll see what it is. Maybe we'll do it. I just want to give the game time to give us any, like, post-plot stuff, if it's going to give us anything. But I think, I think we may have hit the end. Satchel's busy, waiting for me in the bar. Juno, I'll get down to business. The Tennessee Mining Consortium is contending with raiders attacking their ore processing facilities. They've contracted me to provide protection. And you need someone on your wing? Hmm, sounds interesting. Exactly. Are you available? Weird that I get a choice. Uh, yeah, uh, basically. Sure. Good. I'm sending the coordinates of the outpost to your path. I'll meet you in Tennessee. Said the robot. I don't really give enough credit to, <laughs> to how strange all of the setting and everything is. Oh, hey, let's sell all my commodities. All that stuff I earned during the battle. All that very not valuable stuff that we earned. That's alright, we got this whole casino and everything, like... We managed to, sort of incidentally, carve out a little bit of a new life for ourselves. It's weird that that station is just sitting there empty, considering how... How cheap it was to, like, buy, and how easy it was to, post-buying it, get it into a money-making state. Seems like somebody else should have pounced on that, but I guess we were just in the right place at the right time. Despite the fact that it was made clear to us that the station had been empty for some time. And blowing some stuff up, I guess, will at the very least serve as a decent postscript to the main adventure. On account of the fact that that's probably basically what Juno's gonna go on doing. Is this Tennessee? That is the Montana jump- oh, that's right, we're, we're not getting to Tennessee just yet. We gotta do a couple of jumps yet. And I do appreciate that the, the inviolates were a little bit related to the plot, because they're a weird thing. They're a weird thing that you're almost guaranteed to encounter a bunch as you're playing through and the, as they make you run all over the galaxy. So it's nice that there's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of fill-in information. Oh my god, just let me jump out! And I had some problems near the end of the game. I'm not going to talk too much about my frustrations at the moment, because I think I want to think about that a little bit more, sort of get my get my thoughts in order and do a like a final thought style video on this. So I'll save I'll save that stuff for then. Let's just get our little and then Juno's adventures continued postscript here. So I think we're we're doing one more jump, two more jumps, Mississippi then Tennessee. Entering the area. 
Well, it can wait until after I leave. I still feel like we have basically no idea what's actually happening when we use the jump gates and stuff. There's not a lot of explanation of the technology, which leaves me with some questions, like what happens if I'm jumping out while somebody else is jumping in? Is there danger in that? Should I wait politely? Uh, could, could we collide? Have we both get, been converted into energy? You know. Questions. Questions I don't need answered, but questions I would like answered. Out of idle nerd curiosity. Yeah, it dropped us far enough back that there must be hostiles. Yep, in violence. Speak of the devil. God's will steals my arm. Well, you should ask him to give it back. It's a weird thing for God to do. Does he not have a large enough supply? For Father Beauregard. Oh, you know what all this talk about God reminds me? I still have an episode of Creature to watch. That's really neither here nor there. Let's focus on the thing. Yeah, sure. I'll take these these uh, hello evangelism vids, I guess. Come on. I guess I'm flying away from it, but even so, I feel like the tractor beam should just pull stuff faster. All right, let's go blow up some dudes for our friend. I kind of wonder how close we are to actually having completed all of the partner missions. Like if there's a lot left. I'll probably play some more off camera and just find out how close we were to the end. I can talk about that a little bit more in that final video. It's weird. It's weird that they would make us go here and then wait. Bombers and some support craft. Engaging. Hostile craft entering the area. Come closer, pretty thing. Come closer. Oh shoot, I forgot to I'm on him too. set my reactor back to normal function so our shields did not really regenerate. Seem to be in a bit of trouble. I sure could use your help. I'm working on it, man. This is a really cool looking ship type. I wonder if since we found out that there was a police ship available to us right there at the very end, I wonder if more pirate ships had been available to us since we became a pirate and I just didn't notice. And not that I'm unhappy with my Durstin, but something like this would be cool to fly. Look at all the engines on it. I don't know, that, I don't know why that makes me feel like it's cooler, but it does. You know Juno Marco, flying around, blowing people up, taking on illegal contraband without any plan of what to do with it. Just pirate things, you know? Okay, I mean, Narco Cola is not too hard to get rid of. But honestly, human transplants aren't really either. It's an awful lot of people eager to own people, unfortunately. Things that the human, uh, I guess I was, uh, I was gonna say things the human race never grew out of, but I guess it's not just humans. That's a pretty solid bounty, actually. I am prioritizing getting paid over fighting the enemies, which I guess is kind of a dick move to Satchel. I didn't really believe that, man. Come on, you gotta step up the panic. I can't get these bastards off my ass. Some neighborly help sure would be appreciated. I did kind of almost shoot her as she was calling for neighborly help, so I feel a little bad for that. Screw this, I'm out. Again, like given given how much you miss while enemy ships are taking evasive maneuvers, I'm just I'm really surprised that we've not seen in space media. Disappointing. Okay, Satchel. He's got he's to do a little robo-flex on him. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't seen more in space media, like people trying to use uh, the background to screen 
enemies from firing because they're unwilling to shoot in the direction of friendlies. This is not the guy who's shooting at me. But let's try to burn him down real fast so that we can get, get through this and to the guy who is shooting at me. Okay, there we go. I think he's breached. No, he is not. He was really close, and then I fired swarms at him one more time. I thought, there we go. Apparently, I pushed him right up to the edge. I'm gonna tear that tin can apart. I thought I was. There we go. I thought I was steering towards somebody, but apparently, I lost my target at some point. And I'm spending way too much time paying attention to what I'm doing with my tractor beam. No, no, this is unacceptable. Missile inbound. Gotcha. Am I still taking down. damage in the port side? All right, I'm gonna fly away from trouble for a second here. The fast moving ships to follow me, spread the enemies out a little bit, and then. Come on. Okay, there we go. You know, what are you, blind? Hey, I didn't hit that either. That time it was. That time she is mistaken. Okay, hull breach. Bad. safely in the hole. All breached bad, but survivable. Apparently, it wasn't. It wasn't very breached. It was slightly breached. How are there still enemies? Where the hell is Satchel? Okay, we're just gonna try to get a little bit further away. I am not taking shots in the four. Come on, ridiculous. The enemies are behind me. Okay, our reactor is really badly damaged, so we're not we're not really generating enough uh, enough push for me to afterburner very hard. I'm just gonna wiggle away a little bit here and let the shields regenerate as much as they're gonna regenerate. I'm trying to get to the station and put it between me and the ship, so we have a moment to sit. You see that I took a hit in the four shields again. I'm not sure that that indicator is giving me a uh, an accurate picture of what's happening. Got it. Okay. Should have a little bit of cover now. Get a little bit more here. There's the refinery. There's a bunch of garbage. Satchel is just gone, huh? Yep, he sure is. He's not present at all. Now, we, okay, here he is. He's just not... He's just not playing the game. Right, While well, the shields are coming back online, we'll be ready to fight again in a second. We just gotta be real cautious about our port side is all. <laughs> Let's do this fast. The reactor being all screwed up is gonna make it harder, obviously. right here behind him and just do this quickly because the other one is tearing me up. Come on. How are you still alive? That's the last of those. Okay. Breached. Is Satchel actually in here fighting? Yes. Thank God. I'm trying to keep it EMP'd. I'm not sure if these EMPs are really helping. They don't seem to be. Alright, hold on. Let me... Let me take some cover here for a second. Yeah, 
Yeah, our ship is very screwed up. Oh, he's grinding against an asteroid. You would think that would do more damage than it seems to be doing. Alright. So that's both the turrets on this side. Yeah, I don't think the EMPs are doing anything. The effect might be too localized. Oh, that mining hulk came back. Oh, wait, did I not actually destroy that turret? It looks like I didn't. I thought I saw the explosion. Okay. Thanks, Satchel, for showing up eventually. You know what's all the rage these days? I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Star Avenger! It's a real sensation. And don't you think the Vista Bar just deserves one? I don't know, but it's obvious you do. They're so popular right now, though, that they can't be gotten for love nor money. Uh-huh. But a Vectortronics distribution ship has been spotted around the sector. I've heard reports one was last seen passing through Derringer. Perhaps if you were to find it, you might convince them to let you purchase one from the back of the truck, as it were? Just so somebody can dump credits into the thing and blow up imaginary spaceships? That sounds ridiculous. Okay, judgmental. Go on now, it's all in good fun. Maybe, Spanner. Maybe. I believe we've finished them off. I do feel slightly targeted <laughs> by that conversation. Work. I'm transferring payments to you now. As always, Juno, a pleasure. Take care, Satchel. Yeah, I bet it was a pleasure for you to watch me work from the safety of wherever the hell it was you were for most of that battle. Alright, well, I guess that that, yeah, that really was the end. And, you know, listen, Juno's adventures continue, obviously. She's got lots more stuff to steal from Bountiful Vista. She's got lots more ships to blow up. She is going to be just fine without us. But I think this is where our involvement in her adventures ends. So that's going to be it for us for today and for the series. Thank you all so much for watching. This is really loud. Hold on a second. Can I... That didn't turn it down at all. There we go. That's going to be it for us for this series. Thank you all so much for watching for the main part of the series. Like I said, I'm going to do one more video, I don't know, like sometime in the next week probably, just talking about my thoughts about the game because I'm I have something I want to I want to get to, but I want to get there in a little bit more of a thoughtful way. So, come back for that and next time tomorrow for some other new stuff and we'll see you then.